You want to get sodium for Minecraft 1.21.11 in order to get more performance, make Minecraft run a bit smoother, and we're going to show you how to do it. First things first, you want to go to the second link down below. It's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide for getting sodium, but the most important thing is if you click this download sodium button, it will take you to the official sodium download page. On this page, you want to make sure that you select versions, and then you want to make sure you're downloading the 1.21.11 fabric version here. As long as both of those are true, we can go ahead and click the green download button, and then fabric will begin downloading where you'll need to keep or save it. Now, while this is downloading, I quickly want to mention that the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends is with our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. You can check it out at the first link in the description down below, and at Simple Game Hosting, it's super easy to start your own Minecraft server. You can add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server, and truly customize it any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to play Minecraft with your friends. Do it the simple way at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Now with Sodium downloaded, we also need to get Fabric. This is the mod loader that actually allows Sodium to talk to Minecraft. On this page, go ahead and click Download Fabric, and the Fabric Installer page will open, where you can click Download for Windows, and the installer will start downloading. You might need to keep or save it. Now, we can get to these files in our Downloads folder. We'll start off with the Fabric Installer. Go ahead and double-click on the Fabric Installer to open it, and then you want to make sure 1.21.11 is selected, and then click Install. It's that easy. Successfully installed. Click OK. Close out of the Fabric Installer, and you can actually delete it. Now we want to install Sodium. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, do not play Minecraft. Just open up the Minecraft Launcher. In the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go to the Installations tab, where you'll have this Fabric Installation. Go ahead and hover over it and click the folder icon that appears here. Now, you should have a Mods folder, but if you don't, just go ahead and make a Mods folder and then open it up. Drag and drop Sodium from your desktop into the Mods folder, and boom, you now have Sodium in Minecraft. We can go ahead and play Minecraft using our Fabric installation, and Sodium will be active. Now, while this launches, I do want to mention that you're not going to have a ton of settings here, and honestly, in my opinion, Sodium with a bunch of other stuff to optimize Minecraft is going to give you the best performance. I mean, this doesn't even have shaders installed with it by default. That's where our mod pack, Notifying, comes in. This gives you a ton more customization and options on top of Sodium with way better performance and actually works to get Optifine parity, basically meaning you get all of the benefits of Optifine, such as texture packs and stuff like that, all of that functionality with using Sodium. It's really cool. It's linked down below if you want to give it a shot on CurseForge or Moderinth. With that being said, we can now go ahead and see in-game that sure enough, Sodium is in fact active if you go to Options and Video Settings. You can change these, customize these any way that you one, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about showing you how to get sodium, which you now have. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe. If it helped you out, we'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.